Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Today is not gonna be a tutorial or anything similar, I just wanted to show you what I'm testing these days on the GNOME desktop environment because I'm always curious to try new things. And in this video I'm gonna show you some of the extensions that I use that I'm testing basically and some of the utilities as well. So enough talking, let's jump into the video. So guys, as I said in the intro, this is going to be a little different video, it's not going to be a tutorial or anything else, I just wanted to share with you some of the things I am using these days and kind of testing out, as you can see here, uh, the GNOME desktop environment with some changes, uh, some extensions and some utilities. So I just want to share with you in this video very shortly how I am using basically this desktop environment in a mixed way. So let's begin by checking the doc. This is the dash to doc extension, which is now also compatible with GNOME 40 officially, but on the AUR it has been already available since a while and I downloaded it here and it's set up in a certain way. Let me open up here the extension so that I can show you what I mean. You can see here I have dash to doc. This is the way I set it up. I normally on my display, the size is 32 and under launchers here, normally I disable the applications launcher. I don't need that. And under here appearance, what I do, I usually shrink the dash so that it doesn't take too much space. And also I use the customized opacity to 50%. This is for me a fixed value and it adapts very well to every wallpaper that I use. But again, this is personal preference. I just wanted to show you how I actually am using it. I also decided to use this in a way that when any window touch the dock, basically the dock disappears. This is the so-called intelligent dock and I find it very useful when I work with it. So this is one of the extension I'm using. The other one I'm using here and that I have always active is the disable workspace switch animation. So basically when you switch workspace here on GNOME, you don't see any animation, it switches directly. Although we see still the pop-up here, but I'm gonna get rid of it in a moment afterwards when I'm gonna show you the next extension anyway. So this one is anyway on because I don't usually like too much animations on the desktop. And if you check here the tweaks, the GNOME Tweaks application, we do have here an option to remove animations. The problem with this is that it's normally available only on this session. And every time I reboot my computer, this setting is actually gone. I don't know if this is a bug or it's meant so by design, but this is at least how it happens for me here on Arch Linux. Now, I don't have too many extensions usually here in GNOME. As you can see, also the list is very small. These are the default ones. The one I have here is the Disable Workspace Animation, which I showed you already. I have Just Perfection, which I'm gonna show you in a second. I have here Dash to Dock, which we just saw. And another one that I have here is the Clipboard Indicator. So I don't use the Clipboard that often, but the Clipboard Indicator is definitely enough for my use case. So you just install this from the AUR if you want. You can also install it from the GNOME extensions website if you want. And what it does here, it basically creates this icon on the top bar. And if you click here, you can basically search for your clipboard, or you can see also your clipboard here. You can also switch on private mode, you can clear the history, and then we have the settings, which is actually very simple. You can define here the history size and many other things. And we have also here the key bindings for the clipboard indicator. So for example, if I hit Control F9, I can bring up the pop-up here. And if I hit Control 10, I can basically delete the clipboard. I can clear it all. And if I hit Control 11, I can select the previous comment and the next comment is going to be with Control 12. So it's very handy if I'm working on some documents here. I have many things in the clipboard. I can just select them with Control F11 and Control F12 to switch to the content and then hit Control V to paste it. Now the next extension that you might have guessed here on the top bar is the pop shell. So the pop shell, as you probably already know, is basically switching to tiling windows. So let me open up here a couple of windows and I'll show you how it's done. So you can just click here and click tile windows and you basically have sort of a window manager here if you like to work with tiling windows. I know many people like this, many people don't, but it is an option if you want to use it. You can install this extension from the AUR as well. It's called Gnome Shell Extension Pop Shell Git. Now there are many Pop Shell in the AUR. The one that works for me is the Git version. The other ones didn't work for me, I don't know why, but the Git version should be working fine on Arch. Now this one has been customized a little bit for me because for example, you can see here this launcher and this 
shortcuts here i'm not using them except the toggle tiling so if i hit super y the super key is the windows key or if you have a mac it's the command key super y goes back into normal mode and super y again goes back in tiling mode and you can open up again more terminals here if you wish to do so now i customize also this a little bit for the shortcuts if i open up here for example the settings in gnome and i go here in keyboard shortcuts you will see I modified one key here under move, resize and swap windows because I disabled adjustment mode because it was using the super enter binding which I gave to my custom shortcut which is the terminal. So the terminal here you can create your shortcut, you name it terminal, I'm using the gnome terminal as a command and you can give your shortcut in here. The other one that I actually changed as you can see here under system is the lock screen. The lock screen is now changed to Super X for me because Super L is used by something else in my case. But this is again very personal so you can decide for yourself if you want to have the lock screen here with another shortcut. Now let me close this up and close also this one and go back to the extensions because I want to show you also another thing here under the extensions we have the pop shell which is going to show you basically some other settings that you can use. For example, snap to grid. In my case, right now it's switched off. You have also smart caps here and also show minimize to tray windows. This, if you don't like to, can turn it on or off if you want. You can also change the gaps of the windows. In my case, this is the default too. Now, the last extension I want to show you is the just perfection. Now, just perfection here basically includes a lot of extensions in one, a lot of options in one, so to say. And sometimes I use some of these, but not all the time. For example, the one that they switch off here, usually it's the pop-up that appears on the screen when you change the workspace. This is this graphic that you see when I change the workspace. So now it's switched off, but the extension is also switched off. That's why it doesn't work. And another one that I usually do when I want to work exclusively with tiling windows here on the GNOME desktop environment is also the panel. So basically when I turn on this extension here by just turning it on here, you can see the panel disappears. And if I switch now to tiling mode with super Y and hit super enter with my terminal, I have now the tiling mode in full screen. So this is sometimes useful for me when I manage servers because I work with no distractions with other windows and I don't see any other information. So sometimes it's useful for me, but again, this is very personal preference. And of course your workflow might be completely different. So now I can also switch to workspaces. I don't see any animation except the dock, which if I want, I can also disable, but in this case, it doesn't really disturb. I could open up here a window, for example, and it hides anyway by itself. And we can go back to the previous workspace here with control alt and the arrow keys. So this is basically it for what I want to show you in this video. Just a few things that I'm testing out these days on the GNOME desktop environment. As you know, my favorite window manager is actually BSPWM. And I use it, of course, sometimes, but I'm testing out sometimes also other things. And I like to do this from time to time just to discover also some other things, some other extensions in this case for the GNOME desktop environment. But I do the same test also with KDE and other desktop environments sometimes to find out some new things that I might not be aware of. Now, what I showed you here, it's really personal. It's really my personal preference, so you might like it or not. If you have some suggestions about some other things that I and other people in the community would be interested in, let me know in the comments below. Sharing is caring and if you have also questions let me know also in the comments below i will try to answer you as usual as soon as i can so here we go guys this was a very short video just to show you some of the things that i'm testing on these days if you have any question about the video let me know in the comments below or if you have any suggestion let me also know in the comments below i will be always interested and also the community as well and i hope you liked the video guys if you did please hit the thumbs up and sub to the channel if you haven't already that always helped me out and i'll see you soon in the next video